Good evening. How wonderful to see all of you here. A warm Georgetown welcome to all of you. I'm Mehran Kamrava, director of the Center for International and Regional Studies here at Georgetown University's School of Foreign Service in Qatar. Uh, what a terrific, terrific turnout and a testament to uh, our wonderful speaker tonight. I'll um, introduce our speaker in a minute, but before I do, allow me to take care of a couple of housekeeping notes um, uh, before we get started. First and foremost, uh, I want to ask that you could uh, that uh, please uh, turn off your phones or put them on um, uh, silent. And if they happen to go off, please do not answer them. A summary of tonight's talk will be available on our website uh, within the week or maybe 10 days because uh, most of the team uh, is uh, traveling to a conference in Washington tomorrow morning, so it might take a couple of days longer this time. Um, uh, our website is cirs.georgetown.edu. There are lots of new faces, thanks to our speaker, so we encourage all of you, if you're not uh, on our mailing list, to please uh, sign up on the sign-in sheet that's right outside the door. Uh, and um, so this way we can get a hold of you for our next event, which is on December 1st uh, with Professor uh, Neha Vora on the topic of impossible citizens, Dubai's Indian diaspora. Uh, tonight's talk will be followed by a question and answer session, uh, followed by a small uh, reception. Let me now introduce our speaker, distinguished speaker for the evening and the reason we're all here. You were greeted with a terrific book and I have gone through this book, I have read it and I find it truly fantastic. It's a wonderful book. This book and many other works are the works of our distinguished speaker for the evening, uh, Ms. Buthena Al-Ansari. Buthena is the founder and chairperson of Qatariyat T&D Holding Company. She is also senior director of HR or, or senior HR director at Oridu, ambassador of women's of women leading change in Qatar, member of the Middle East and North Africa Business um, Women's Network board member of Qatar Business Women's Association and a mentor at the Qatar Professional Women's Network Circle. Ms. Al-Ansari holds a master's degree in business management and HR strategic planning from Qatar University and a master's degree from American University of Cairo in human resource management. In 2012, Buthena received the Le Officiel Qatar's Most Inspirational Arab Woman of the Year Award. She's been voted by Coms MEA as one of top 50 female telecom executives. And for the past several years, she's been named by ArabianBusiness.com as one of the most, as one of the 100 most powerful Arab women. She also is, as you might know from the te uh, TV. She has been, for the sixth season, a judge in the Stars of Science. So please join me in welcoming our distinguished speaker for the evening, Buthena al -Ansar. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. There are male and female CEOs. There are male and female scientists. There are male and female doctors. There are male and female achievers. But there are only heroes. Well, I do believe there should be sheroes. <laughs> My name is Buthayn Al-Ansari. I'm honored to have all of you today. Let me start with my recipe of success. I called it Buthayn al-Ansari recipe because I always compare myself to the international speakers. And 
I said one day for my kids and for my husband, why do those people have their own codes? Why those people have their own recipe? I should promote Qatari women and have my own recipe. So today I'm going to reveal my recipe to all of you. That recipe enabled me to become a shiro. In any society, there are heroes as well as shiros. But if one is missing, what will happen? The balance is tipping. So now we will start with the first element of my recipe. And allow me to say, Buthayna's recipe. I will introduce my husband. He's a handsome man. <laughs> and my son, Ali. He's here. He's here. And my daughter, Ghada. My little one, Abdullah. And my father. I always have been blessed with a supportive family. A mother, sisters, brother, and a great, great father. When I was seven years old, he always, always calling me my shiro. So this word came from him, and he taught me that. And I always say I have three heroes in my life. My father, my brother, and my husband. So Shiro's started from home. But if you miss this part, it won't be a disaster. It can start by yourself. And this is very important. Because I received a lot of emails, phone calls, and personal interviews saying, Buthayna, not everyone pleased with a good family like yours. I'm a divorced person. I'm living in unbalanced family. So how can I become a shiro? So this part, it's not that important. It is you. It's about you. So the second element, which I really, really always encourage my kids to depend on education, education, education. I can take away your wealth. I can take away your family. I take away even your car. I can take away everything that you love. But I cannot even or I, can ev I cannot even take what is in your mind. This is very important. Very, very important. And in Qatar, we have strong system of education. Sheikh Moza brought us the whole university in the world. Georgetown is one of them. So the, 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 the opportunities that Sheikh Moza gave us is a huge. So we have to appreciate that. We have to utilize that in our career. It will help a lot. Because Qatar, today, a huge, a huge country in achievements. It's not about the capacity. It's not about the number of the population. It's about what we achieved, what we are aiming. We won World Cup 2022. I always remind my kids, this is a great initiative for all of us, that we need to help and contribute toward this initiatives. I like this slide. Let me tell you something about myself. I'm an entrepreneur. And the main character of the entrepreneur, he is what? Thank you. He is, he is a risk taker. I took risk in my thoughts. I took risk in my decisions. I took risk in my plans. And that's 
opened a lot of doors and opportunities to me. I changed my whole life. My, my major at the, uh, the university was uh, BSc in Biomedical Science. But I never loved it. I did it because of my mom. She wants me to be a doctor because I'm a good student. So I said, Mom, I hate to be a doctor. I hate blood. She said, you have to become a doctor. I want people to say, your daughter is a doctor. I said, yeah, because of you, not because of me. The credit will go to you, not for me. But I want to please her. So I studied biomedical science. Such an awful major. I just kept myself in a laboratory preparing viruses and bacteria. But it helped me when I raised my kids to know about the disease, to be accurate in my timing, to be accurate in dealing with my kids. So let the biomedical science away. So I took risk and I shift to the business field. That's why I'm telling you education is very important. When I entered the first class during the MBA in Qatar University, I look at the mentor and I don't know what he's saying. Finance, financial balance sheet, and extra, extra many things. The four Ps, product, pl uh, place, and you know, all of that. So I said, I have to fight. I need this. I want to become a businesswoman. So I educate myself first. Then the dean of uh, business and, uh, and commerce in uh, Qatar University said, Buthayna, we have to hire you to become uh, a teacher assistant for the uh, undergraduate. So I taught economics, uh, global and uh, microeconomics for the uh, undergraduates. So education is very important to begin anything that you want to start in your life. And uh, the risk taker, we talk about it, and really, really, it helps me a lot. And you have to be away from your comfort zone. This is for the girls who is at their final stage of studying. I think at this stage, you have to decide where you are going or where you are heading. Because really, this helped me a lot. Setting objectives, setting your vision, setting your plan. This is really an important tools to differentiate you. Sometime, and forgive me to say that, we said experts like plan, like vision, like brainstorming, and I found it really a helpful tool. I found it really differentiate me from others, differentiate me among Qatari women. Because people in Qatar are always like to be in a high standard and they like to be a unique. They like to be different people. So by doing that, I think we will enable us to reach this point. This is my favorite one. Brand yourself. Brand yourself, brand yourself. During my contribution in any conferences or any workshop or any panel discussion, People always say, now she will say her quote. See, I have my own quote now. With an al Ansari quote. I'm selfish, I know that. <laughs> but I have to position myself differently. Brand yourself. My abaya won't, me, won't make me different. My Gucci bag won't make me different. My Rolex won't, me, won't uh, make, me, make me different my thinking. So you have to market yourself, position yourself, brand yourself, and choose the right segment that you feel that you love it. Don't say I can s serve the SMEs. Don't say I can serve children segment. Don't say that I can serve women segment. 
you have to choose. You can wear many hats on other occasions, but not at this stage. I choose women segment in Qatar. I want to empower them. I want to guide them. I want to enable them. And I did. And I'm proud to say that I did. Through my initiatives, through my different initiatives, Qatariyat magazine, I published it 2007. Only 20 issues. Then I stopped it. Do you know why? Do you want to know the reason? Let's do brainstorming like the experts. <laughs> I didn't choose the right team. Really. I love them. They supported me, but they were unskilled team. They love me. Is it enough? They supported me. Is it enough? When we approach any client or any vendor, we stay, nice talking, nice drinking, nice office, uh, good uh, welcoming, and we end up with zero. Any magazine in the world need to have sponsorship. You have to have advertising in the magazine so you can continue. Although what a brilliant content that you have, without advertising, you cannot survive. So I learned from my mistakes. I won't depend on the one that I love and they love me. I need a skilled people. So this is the lesson we learned from our mistakes. Qatariyat Magazine, 2007, and LG1, a program. This is, was the stepping stone to me. I approached Qatar of Commerce, Chamber of Commerce, and they supported me. And we did a brilliant program for Qatari women in different sector in the country. It consists of 12 subjects for two years. And we did it. And we took them to the next level. But again, I faced one problem. Brainstorming again. <laughs> they couldn't fi finance themselves. They couldn't pay for the program. And I will be very honest with you. When I approach those places, I won't name them. They refuse to sponsor those girls. What is this? A female training program? Why is that? Oh, you want to create or develop a rocket? I said, mm, what shall I answer him now? I said, no, we want to become CEOs, we want to become ministers, and blah, 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 blah. But then I don't have budget. Thank you, sir. We went to other person, and the same, same, same dialogue. We don't have budget. Your timing is wrong. We are at the beginning of the year. So I said, fine. So I had a meeting with my friends. I said, I will sponsor it. I will pay for you guys, and we will talk these 12 ladies to the next level. And we did it. And I'm happy to achieve something that my heart wants to achieve it. So you have to sacrifice. What does it take to be a Shiro? When we prepare this slide with my skilled team who added a lot to me, Dr. Allen and Mrs. Al-Jazi Al-Hanzar. When we prepared this slide, it was a touchy slide because they always say, this is you, Buthayna. This is you. And I want to elaborate a lot about it. Don't scare, this is not my blood. <laughs> You have to survive. You have to sacrifice. You have to fight. Otherwise, you want to win. I survived in many times that I thought I'm going to stop. I'm a, as a Qatari woman, 
I lived in a culture, a unique culture. I have traditional to follow. I have many people with different mindset than what my government is aiming. I don't want to interfere with the religion things and those things because it's not our topic today. So you have to survive, you have to sacrifice, and you have to fight. Otherwise, you won't win. <laughs> if you want to win any battle, you have to have extra effort. And you have to ha fight hard, really hard. This is what differentiates you. This is what will differentiate you. Fighting hard and hard and hard till you reach what you are aiming. Because it's not a piece of cake. Everyone knows that. You have a lot of commitments. You have a lot of issues to deal with. You have different stereotypes of people. You have different environments. You have different factors that will affect your journey. So you have to sweat. And we sweated during pre preparing of this presentation. Let me tell you something. Tears. I'm sure the ladies here like tears. <laughs> we love tears, guys. <laughs> we, love, <laughs> we love tears. Whether we are happy, where we are sad, we love tears. My husband said, I give you price, you, you cry. I give you a nice word, you cry. I said, because I love you, Khaled, that's why. <laughs> See, he always saying, Buthayna, you are a smart lady. By the way, my husband, very demanding person. <laughs> I have to tailor and cascade my schedule based on his need. Imagine that. <laughs> he won't eat till I come back. He won't sleep till I come back. Khalid, come on, I'm a Qatari businesswoman. Please respect that. He said, yes, I do respect that. I helped you to go there. I supported you to go there. Don't forget Khalid. I said, Khalid, please, please. You know, and Ali knows that. He won't eat lunch without me. I spoiled him. But I'm a smart lady. I know how to get him. <laughs> and he's a Qatari man with thumb and abba and ghitra. Don't forget that. But he's a such lovely person. And I always been asked, your husband's Qatari? I said, yes. <laughs> what is wrong with that? He said, no, because sometimes the family issue preventing us to cross this barrier. Can I come here? <laughs> no. So tears always make me stronger, not weaker. And I want you to do that. You can cry. I always go to the bathroom and cry, by the way. And this is the nature of a human being, whether it were. I'm a woman or a man. And I respect all Qatari men because I saw the difference in the new generation. I saw it in my son. He treats his sister like his friend. He allows her to go everywhere with him. And I'm very happy. Thank you, Ali, for that. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Even if you were a thob and ghitra, I'm proud of you. I raise you this way. So the privilege will go to me. No, no, I'm just kidding. You are a, such a good son. And he said, I will see your presentation today. I will tickle all your mistakes. I said, why, Ali? He said, your accent bum is not that good. <laughs> I said, well, you are, since six years old or five years old, you are taking English lesson. But I'm not. I'm not. I taught myself. I know how to speak in English because I need to speak English. But you studied that. So say I won. <laughs> so he said, I said, Mom, I can do what? What about? I cannot. I'm a Qatari. 
I'm, I'm proud to have my own identity. And this is very important. I love my abaya. It makes me different. I love my accent. I said Qatar, not Qatar. <laughs> I said Arab, not Arab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you will tease me. I know that. So my friends, I like to be myself, by the way, during the speeches. I don't. Uh, uh, excuse me for uh, it cannot. <laughs> so again, you know what? I don't want to end up the speech. But uh, Mahran wants me to end it. <laughs> so let's see again. See, I'm repeating Buthayn al-Ansari recipe. So you will go back to your home. You will go back to your companies. You will go back to your life. And remember, Buthayn al-Ansari recipe. So really, I want to do this. I want everyone to remember Buthayn al-Ansari. I don't want to, people to remember me as a Qatari, wealthy woman coming from this family. No, 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 no. I want to position myself with a knowledge, with a strong education, the lady who can develop the change in her country. I want to be remembered this. I always tell Ali, Ali, if I pass away, I want you to pray, be proud of me. I always say, this is also my quote, and I will have copyright for that. <laughs> I don't want to be a normal ID number in this society. This is Tariq Swaydan taught me. And I'm no, you are aware of Tariq Swaydan. He's my favorite mentor. Really, I don't want to open, uh, sorry, not me, the other people open the newspaper and see just my name that I passed away. Really. It's, it's, it moves my heart that I will pass away. <laughs> <laughs> Ali, you won't survive, nobody will cook for you. But really I do. Really, really I do. I want to be remembered that I developed the change in Qatar. My heart's shaking, I will cry now. But I won't, because I won't spoil my eyelashes. <laughs> I, I took one hour to fix my eyelash. <laughs> The glue won't stick the eyelash. I said, come on, I have a lecture in, C in Georgetown University. I have to fix my eyelash because of the picture. I want to look beautiful. It's, it's give a value. I love eyelash, by the way. I'm addicted to the eyelash. So let's summarize my recipe. You have to have supportive family, education and knowledge, Branding yourself, taking risk. Why not ask yourself, why not be a shiro? If we have this opportunity, why we do not, we do not utilize this opportunity? The answer will come from this week. We have a globally recognized education system, fee for all our children, from preschool through to university.
بنك طري وحق لي لا تباهيت لي الشرف لا وافتخرت بلادي جامعة قطر بين المختبرات بين طلاب الجامعة أنا كطري وحقي لي لا لي افعالي الحضر والبوادي I think we deserve a clap here. <laughs> By the way, this video is 100% Qatar. A Qatari product made by Al Jazi company. And the singer, she's a Qatari. Her name is Sharifa Sa'i. to as a speaker now as you saw from this video we are in Qatar at the development phase whether you were a mother a wife a student an employee or business owner we have to contribute together to invent the economics wheel in Qatar we have to don't ever, ever, ever underestimate your role in this country. Because some mothers came to me. They said, how come we can contribute to your vision? How come we invent the economics wheel? I said, by being a mother, this is the best thing in the world. You will produce the future leaders you will produce the people who will handle this responsibility. Yes, my mom and any one of you. This is a great job, by the way. A great, a great job. So we have to appreciate our mom and love them and care of them. We always say in Arabic, the paradise is beneath their feet. And this is true. And everybody heard, I'm sure, about Qatar Vision 2030. I always encourage the young girls not just remember Qatar Vision 2030, not just say Qatar Vision 2030 for the media, not just say Qatar 2030 for the TVs or radios. We have to contribute to this vision. We are lucky to have this vision, really lucky. This vision consists of investment in human capital, education, environment, and health. And I was very happy to hear and to see there is a sub-pillar saying empowering women wow this is me and this is all of you ladies 
empowering women, such a good initiative, such a good pillar that they considered us finally. So really, empowering women is a must. And I think this is in the vision, in Qatar Vision 2030, empowering women. So we have to contribute toward this. This is slides showing Qatari labor force, males presenting 68% and female presenting only 32%. So we have to work hard to fill this gap by a great initiatives. I'm not underestimating anyone now when I say we have to differentiate ourselves of just having abayas and cupcakes. We need to have more than that, guys. It's not only about abaya and cupcakes. We need to be a valid person. We have to add value to this community through a real initiatives. I'm addicted to empowering women. Come to me. I will guide you. I will help you. It's not an easy job. It should start from you. Don't copy others. I'm an Instagram fan, by the way. And I have 3,000 followers, I think. <laughs> See, I'm marketing myself now. <laughs> I'm 200 something in Facebook. Uh, so. When I checked the Instagram, I got mad, really mad, because our girls always positioning themselves in abayas and cupcake. Come on, guys. There are lots of opportunity to develop new initiatives in Qatar. We have the right infrastructure. We have the right tools. The decision makers in Qatar are supporting us to do that. Sheikh Moza brought all the universities in, from the state to Qatar. So why we have to limit ourselves within the abaya and cupcakes? Why we cannot have Steve Jobs? Why we cannot have other Bill Gates? I always say, why not? We have everything. They suffered. We have everything. We are lucky people. We are in Qatar. We are a limited edition. <laughs> We are exclusive. Really, this is my understanding. Always, always raise the bar of your ambitions. My father taught me something, and I love my father. His name is Hassan Bunasr. He always say, don't ever compare yourself with the standard people. You have to compare yourself with a very unique and successful people. Let me tell you about this story. During every month in Orido for, uh, sorry, during every March in every year, we celebrate International Women's Day. And that day, my father brought me the magazine called Arabian Business. And they, every year, initiate a list of the most powerful women in the world or in the Middle East. Before that, the, the year before, I was number 19. And he was happy bringing for me the magazine saying, Buthayna, good duration, that you've been listed and you scored 23. I said, what, 23? I was 19, I did a lot of things. I achieved a lot of things. He looked at me, what's happened? You are 23. Nice, they didn't take you from the list. <laughs> I said, and then I recap what he said. Yes, this is true. I said, 19, 23, oh, okay. But between myself, I didn't satisfy with the figure. But he mentioned a good thing that nice they didn't take you from the list because you were very busy with Oridu and you didn't do things for the community. We have a brilliant examples of Qatari Shiroz in Qatar. Sheikha Hind, 
شيخة المياسة دكتورة شيخة المسند دكتورة حنان الكواري شيخة هنادي and Amal Mennai There are heroes Shiroz, sorry There are heroes and they developed the change in Qatar and there are more is coming and I'm sure there are more is coming so do you want to join us? Do you want to be part of this development? Do you want to contribute to Qatar Vision 2030? Yes, you do. There is a saying, it takes two wings to fly. Men and women of Qatar, put your hand together to build Qatar. Qatar deserves the best. Thank you. you something? Can I have more clapping? <laughs> Before I end up this, can you stand up, Biljan? Come, please. What? <laughs> I'm, I will tell you why I'm kissing them. <laughs> Ellen, I cannot kiss you. Otherwise, I will kiss you. <laughs> okay. I'm kissing them because they supported me a lot during my journey. Two weeks of a preparation. We, sweat, we sweated a lot. We laughed a lot. We cried a lot. Thank you, guys. Thank you, really. You did a great, brilliant job. Can we show them behind the scenes? Fantastic. Thank you so very much. What a, what a terrific presentation. I am delighted that really for the first time I see a number of my students here and you'll be happy to know that most of the students who are here, my students, are female students. And so uh, I'm delighted that they were here to, uh, to hear you.